It's Bobby Durkins here. I personally don't have a gator or an elephant in this fight, but I thought I'd weigh in on the SEC championship. There's a saying that floats around that on any Saturday, basically symbolic of any game, college football, anybody can beat anybody. There was also a saying that Bobby Dodd said one time of his team. It was like we were in Rome in the Colosseum and we were the Christians. You know how bad that went? If you don't, go look up history. It went awful. And look, I'm not trying to antagonize anybody. I'm just talking here. I'm just here. Game's going to be played tomorrow. But I'm looking at my uh, computer right now in Vegas, and I don't believe they're trying to make money off this game. Has Alabama by 24. I even talked to a friend of mine who's a Florida Gator fan. Said something about their chances of beating Alabama. He busted out laughing and said something like this. That's the funniest thing I've heard in a while. Now, I, I'm, I'm just going to say this. And I know I'm going to catch flack. I know you're... And listen, Florida does not have inferior talent, nor do they have inferior coaches. They don't. It's second year for Michael Wayne, and, and they got a bunch of good athletes. It's one of those places you can just walk into a five-star, four-star recruit and go, hey, where Florida won't come play for us. And a lot of times it works. So much respect. But understand me that tomorrow night you're going against a mammoth machine that's been chewing up everything in its way. They beat my beloved Tigers. Although our Tigers kind of beat themselves because uh, special teams. And our fantastic cornerback and I believe defense van got hurt that game. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Bama won, Clemson lost. Tomorrow night's going to be no different. The only thing I'll hand Florida is that at least their jerseys are blue so that when Alabama beats them black and blue, at least some of it will blend in. And also, I want to throw out there, too, that, look, I, I, I don't hate Nick Saban. I'm not gaga over uh, Nick Saban like the, like the fans are. He's a good coach. And he don't care whether I like him or you like him or not. But as I said, I don't have a problem with him. But I'm also not one of those Bama fans who like Michael Jackson coming out in the 80s. In the 90s, he'd walk out in the Coliseum and all the girls on the front row would, would basically urinate on themselves and pass out crying. But he's a good football coach. And tomorrow night, that good football coach is going to run his fantastic football team in. And, or I say tomorrow night, but tomorrow, and they're going to win. Because let's be honest with ourselves. The years past, the SEC has been head and shoulders above everybody. Like it, hate it, make you want to puke a little bit, make you giddy. And it's what created this whole SEC, SEC, SEC. Watching Tennessee game last year when they were blistering somebody in the bowl game and they started screaming SEC. Hey, you know what you need to do? You need to hope some of those teams lose so you can pick up some of those recruits. Think about that. And next, if you're going to pull for the whole SEC, I can only imagine what your closet looks like. Trying to keep up. It must be expensive trying to keep up with all those colors. But this year, there's been Alabama and then the rest of them. Good talent. Good talent. Don't get mad. East has not been good. East has not been good. If you go get mad about that, you go get mad about that. That's that's the same like my 10-month, though, when one time he got mad, head-butted the floor, and even got more mad that it hurt that he head-butted the floor. It's the truth. So I'm going to let you go. I hear one of them crying now. I'm coming. I'm coming. I swear I'm coming. I got to go. But I'm just telling you, tomorrow when Florida gets her helmets taken off their head, I'm sorry. You're welcome.